Hello, this is Michelle and I. Welcome to the November Astrology. This month, all the main planets are going straight ahead, giving us oomph, giving us vim and vigour, and we can all get on, thank goodness. Not necessarily with each other, but certainly with what we need to do in the universe. We also have a fabulous Venus and Jupiter conjunction, shimmying love, shimmying? sizzling, shimmying, sorcerizing love into our life. It's expansive, it's beautiful. Make the most of it. Here's your monthly astrology. Scorpio, you are feeling even more in the zone than usual. We have got some great and fantastic things going on for you, not least of which Venus going into your sign and a new moon in your sign, yeah baby. Let's start from the beginning though, and in the beginning, Venus is at the moment for the next seven days, from the first to the seventh, in your very spiritual lack of boundaries zone. It's made you very soft actually. It's made you feel very connected to people. It's made you sort of ponder on the meaning of all of your intimate relationships. And you're grounding that because Saturn is helping you ground that on the third. And you're like, okay, how do I incorporate feeling practical, but also keeping that connection open, not being defensive, not being scared, not overreacting, but being open to my beloveds, be that friends or be that lovers. And you're finding that strength within yourself. You're one of the most sensitive signs, which is why sometimes you build a wall. But at the moment, you really are in the deepest flow that can be. And then we have a full moon in your relationship zone. There's all sorts of stuff coming up for you around your intimate relationships. There'll be a revelation. You may sort of pick something up psychically. You may have the most profound union with someone on that day, which is the fourth. Um, but also you want to be able to express yourself. Whatever happens, don't fall into the trap of, of being too critical or having expectations just based on, you know, your view of things. We, every single one of us does that. It's half the reason relationships sometimes don't work is because we see that things should be done in a particular way and we see that as just the way that it is rather than the fact that all of those are expectations to do with relationships are built up over years of our upbringing, you know, what we read, what, what we consume from the universe, from the memes we catch, from the little pieces of information that we experience. Anyway, I digress. Put it this way, it's a great peak experience for your personal relationships. We have Mercury shifting signs and making you feel very grounded, making you feel able to express yourself in a, in a very serious way. It also makes you great for negotiating anything to do with money and finances. You know, you've got it going on. You've got your wits about you. Now, Venus enters your sign on the 7th and it's fabulous because you're literally, you are exuding love. People feel that loving vibe. Even if you're feeling irritable, you've got something lovable and adorable about you when Venus is in your sign. Also, it's brilliant for helping you love yourself, build a stronger relationship with yourself, become your own cheerleader and also to attract your love magnet. A cliche but true, you're attracting lovers and people to you, like a moth to the flame. Um, now Saturn is trine Uranus on the 11th and that's quite intense and there's a part of you that kind of maybe feeling that you want freedom around your finances and to shift things around your lifestyle and your health and well-being. Don't do anything too radical. When Venus conjuncts Jupiter, the event of the month, it's in your sign. This is a golden, 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 platinum fairy tale union where you have the opportunity to transform your love life. The cosmic magic wand is pointing in your direction and going, you know, let's work together to stretch your relationships. And there could be a real lucky break around the 13th. Very, very profound. Gives a general good vibe to this month. So, you know, enjoy that. That's great news. Um, where am I? Where is the new moon? Oh, yeah. Then we have the new moon in your sign on the 18th. It's your very own birthday moon. You can make a wish. It's also about casting off the crap you've been carrying. Ugh, you know, let go of all whatever it is to recreate yourself, to sort of have a rebirth. It's a clean slate and a fresh start. And, you know, you, you bound into the next phase of your life. You know, whatever you do, do not be frightened of... Le I know you're not frightened of anything because you are 
you know, ruled by Pluto, the great transformer, but let things go, allow things to be gone that are meant to be gone. It's, it's a golden opportunity for you to do that as well. So plenty of golden opportunities for you this month. It, it, there really is magic in the air. One thing to look out for is when Mars squares your ruler Pluto. There could be a ridiculous argument, a power play, uh, a kind of some weird thing that happens on that day that unsettles you. But on the 21st, Venus, the planet of love, is sextiling your ruler Pluto. Another fabulous day. I think this is going to be a brilliant month for you. Neptune also goes direct. Okay, the sun leap. Well, the sun leaves your sign on the 22nd as it always does but it's leaving you feeling strong and powerful and able there's so many opportunities this month for you to clear things out stand in your power uh, be loving and experience real intimacy and magic what more could you want have a happy birthday if it's in november i send you so much love take care and i'll speak to you soon Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.